just a, a few announcements this morning, and I apologize for the number of announcements, but there are some important things coming up that we want to be able to communicate accurately. Uh, just so everyone knows, you know, I, I um, usually just kind of sit in the cry room there um, before I come out for announcements. And um, just um, a special blessing to all the parents, especially with young <laughs> children. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. But along those same lines, <clears throat> we will be offering a nursery uh, uh, in the coming days as soon as we get our staff trained in that regard, the volunteers, etc. So everyone knows that. That is um, on its way and will be um, sooner than later. On Valentine's Day, we will be providing cookies for caregivers at the hospital. Donations of cookies can be dropped off at the parish office today. Please label the cookies with the type and any potential allergens like nuts. And I, I have to admit, I had to confess to Melinda that I'm pretty sure I decimated the first donation of cookies last <laughs> night. Oh. I'm probably on the, um, the security cam somewhere. <laughs> late last night. I had no idea what they were for, so anyway, um, <laughs> Father Doug, maybe we can bake some cookies this afternoon. Uh, our Parish Night topic, this is this upcoming Wednesday, just, just to remember about Parish Night, it begins with a 5.30 Mass, then we go to the social hall for a dinner, and during the dinner there's a little a talk. Um, usually um, either apologetics, defending the faith, or just a deeper understanding of some aspect of the faith. But this Wednesday, we'll be talking on the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. And I really encourage you to come to this. This is a, an opportunity for us to see, if you, if you want to put it in words, what it looks like for faith to be in action. Remembering that we first pray before we act, but nonetheless, this is a time for us to reflect on our own lives as we're sort of moving towards Lent right now, and perhaps you can come and participate in that. So you know, a nursery and children's activities will be provided. Um, the parish will provide the main dish, if you could please bring um, a, uh, a side dish or dessert to share. On Ash Wednesday, March 2nd, we will begin a weekly Lenten study series, a biblical walk through the Mass. Many of you have asked me about this, and I think that it, it'll be very much worth your while. It's, it, it is a program that will be um, listening and uh, watching uh, uh, videos, but also subsequent to that discussion. So the foundation, biblical foundations of the Mass, I like to remind people that almost every prayer, the formal prayer in the Mass, is, is a quote from Scripture. So Catholics uh, know a lot more scripture than they think they do, but we do want to make you aware of what you do know and also what there is to learn. So I invite you to think about that for your Lenten devotion. Please see the bulletin for our outreach ministry flyer. Uh, a big thanks to Melinda for putting this together for us. We are in various ways engaged with our local community so that everyone knows we give 10% of our um, weekly offertory to some sort of charitable outreach. Uh, that is to say, ministry to the poor, those in need, and various other needs that are both within our local area and our deanery. Uh, we want to let you, firstly, just, just to make you aware of that, if you're not aware of it already, um, and the flyer in the bulletin sort of enumerates the various ministries that we're engaged with. So I really encourage you to take a look at that. Also, um, we will be next door for coffee and donuts, hospitality Sunday, and there will be representatives from these various ministries there to answer questions if you do have any. You should know that many of these ministries are short-staffed right now. They, uh, that's in large part due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, some people were not able to come back after um, uh, that, uh, the lockdown and everything else that happened subsequent to that. Others are retiring. So we just want to make you aware that there is much to do in the way of apostolates, outreach ministry, and, and, um, and the way that we're related to um, both each other and to our larger community. So please um, come next door and we'll be happy to discuss that more. If the Holy Spirit perhaps is inspiring you with a new idea for a ministry, we want to hear about that. Also, if you're moved to join one of the existing ministries, you would be very much welcomed. 
As I mentioned, um, next door we will be having uh, coffee and donuts and conversation. Also, the Life Teen Youth Ministry, our youth group here at St. Matthew's, will be selling cookies and St. Matthew car stickers. Or we have some St. Matthew swag to share. But um, this is a fundraiser um, to uh, help our um, young people get to the Diocesan Youth Conference. Always a wonderful opportunity. So, um, so with that, I'm, I'm, there's, I could say more, but I just wish you all a very happy uh, Sunday and a, also a blessed week. God bless you. Thank you.